Here in central Yaoundé, Cameroon, traders are selling some of the region's most prized delicacies. Depending on the season, grasshoppers, termites, or in this case, larvae of the palm weevil beetle, line the stalls. Moi, je mange les insectes, c'est trop nourrissant. Donc, ça nourrit le corps et ça n'a pas de graisse et ça ne nuit pas au corps. C'est un truc que si on est humain, ça a tout le temps. Peu de rare qu'il aura des maladies. Insects make a positive contribution to diets here, as they are packed with protein, vitamins, fiber, and minerals. And it's not only their contribution to local diet that's important. They are also providing earning opportunities. Here, in the forest surrounding the village of Jeng, it's the grasshopper season. Philomen Enama is collecting grasshoppers, along with other women from the village. Some of them she cooks to feed her family of seven. The rest she takes to market for sale. I see that the insects are good because when we haven't yet had the reproductions, the chants, it will help us to live like that. We prepare our food, the other food we can sell, so it helps us really. In the height of the season, one woman may collect four water bottles full of grasshoppers, which she will sell for the equivalent of 15 euros in one day. The role of women in collecting insects is very important, since in many parts of the world, women are responsible for ensuring that there is food on the table to feed the family. Until recently, insects were considered an inexhaustible resource. However, human population growth has led to over-harvesting of certain species. While forest fires and habitat degradation due to unsustainable logging has brought some species to the brink of extinction. The rearing and domestication of insects can help the conservation of wild insect populations while simultaneously contributing to livelihoods and food security. Insects have a huge potential for both feed and food. We're already seeing developments in terms of using insects as animal feed and also being incorporated onto menus and into processed foods. While we won't be seeing insects on the table of a Sunday lunch anytime within the next decade, we know that insects have a huge potential and we hope that slowly but surely this can be realized. Population growth, urbanization and the growing middle class are all contributing to a growing global demand for protein. Insects contain high levels of essential nutrients and vitamins, as well as high protein content comparable to meat products. It's hoped that insects will be considered a viable supplement to human diets, not only here in Central Africa, but in many other parts of the world.